What is going on YouTube? This is Adam and I'm back with another video. In today's quick video, we're gonna be making this crazy viral flash transition. But if you're new here, welcome to the culture drop. A new videos every week. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. And also guys, happy holidays. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and got some cool stuff for Black Friday. I just wanna let you guys know that I'm actually running a sale on my website for Cyber Monday, which you can get is 50% off all my video editing packs. I don't do discounts often, but if you have some preset packs in mind that you wanna go ahead and get, I'm actually running a 50% off sale on my entire store. So get it while the discount last and let's get right into the video all right perfect so now we are in the video editing software and so what i have now is just a clip of yeet performing in a music video so what we want to do now is just find an area where we want to make the transition happen um, i kind of like to hear where he crosses his arms so let's go ahead and zoom into the clip now what we're going to go ahead and do now is just go ahead and duplicate the clip we're going to go ahead and trim it so what i'm going to do now is we're actually going to add a zoom effect what i'm going to go ahead and do is add a transform on here but i'll go ahead and show you guys my new plugin that i'm actually working on it's going to be called mirror flow i'm just gonna be releasing pretty soon but it's gonna pretty much allow you to streamline your workflow it has some of the most popular effects in the utility tab so we'll go ahead and just press transform and as you can see it just gets added here without having to go to your effects panel type in the transform effect it just makes it a little bit more simpler so yeah has a few different effects you can see them here so let's go ahead and get back to the effect now that we have our transform effect let's go ahead and add a zoom so we're just gonna go ahead and scale in to about like 160 looks pretty solid so perfect so this is what our video is looking like so far as you can see it kind of just zooms in has a like a sharp zoom in so it's not a bad effect but it's not what we're looking for so what we want to do now is we're going to go ahead and toggle the opacity right and then we're going to go ahead and make this zero and then we're going to go over about five frames i held down shift and then i pressed the right arrow key once and that goes five frames we're going to go ahead and reset this parameter to get it back to 100 so here's what we're looking like so far so real cool like a little fade and zoom so that actually looks a lot more cleaner so now that we're done with this we'll go ahead and add our next effect levels effect we'll go ahead and draw drag this on top of our clip and let's go ahead and make more space here so we can see what we're doing with our keyframes and we'll go ahead and start to toggle on this RGB white input level just so we can get the brighter effect and let's go ahead and actually bring it down to 60 or put it in between where like you know the video is fading in so let's go ahead and put our brightness right there let's go ahead and go to the beginning of the clip and make this toggle off so it looks normal and then we'll go one two one two and we'll go ahead and reset this so it kind of just gets right back into the video so check out what we have now so it looks like a little additive dissolve real cool effect right there and next thing we want to do let's actually add a blur to it so let's go ahead and grab gaussian blur and let's go ahead and drag it right under our levels and then what we want to do is go ahead and change the blur dimensions to horizontal and we want to just open up our keyframes and put it in between these two clips or actually what we'll do is we'll have this set to zero right so we'll toggle that and then here we're just going to go ahead and make the blurriness a lot so let's go about like 160 all right so perfect so now what we're working with right here crazy little flash effect right there looks really dope with a quick zoom in so that looks good so that's actually it like it was super quick so once you're done here you can go ahead and just copy these you can save this as a preset if you want or what we're actually going to go ahead and do is just make another effect so copy those and then what we're going to go ahead and do now is just go over another 20 frames one two three four and what i did was i held down shift to go over five frames each go ahead and drag this up go ahead and take all these off and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just paste these properties and let's go ahead and check out what we created so far so as a quick flash in quick flash out real cool effect so this video is actually really quick i hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial go ahead and like the video it helps the channel out a lot and if you want to see more content like this go ahead and subscribe to my channels i drop new videos every week and that's it guys peace